The state Senate now appointing an illegal immigrant, she's an attorney, her name's Elizabeth Mateo, to a statewide committee advising college access and financial aid. Mateo, who is age 33, was brought to this country from Mexico when she was 14 years old. While she is not a salaried employee, California policy entitles her to reimbursement for expenses. So taxpayers will be paying for an illegal immigrant, even though it is against federal law. So how does this happen? Don Rosenberg, who lost his son Drew at the hands of an illegal immigrant in San Francisco back in 2010, joins us now. Don, how do you feel about this? What are your thoughts? Well, you know, it, this is just another one of those outrageous actions by uh, Kevin DeLeon in the California Senate. Um, basically to tell, in this case, uh, I think this was one to tell President Trump and Attorney General uh, Sessions, we're going to do whatever we want to do, and you're not going to do anything about it. Well, here's the thing, Don. Uh, California law says one cannot hold civil office if they're not a citizen at appointment. And Dan Reeves, uh, who's a high-ranking official there, said Senate lawyers advised that her post isn't covered by that law. So she's not covered, but they're going to do it anyway. Well, that's just, I mean, you know, California, when it comes to anything to do with illegal aliens, uh, the law is irrelevant. I think they've proven that over and over and over again, and uh, they just don't care. They're waiting. Look, certainly... Uh, Attorney General uh, Javier Becerra is not going to do anything about it because he's willing to break the law as well. Yeah, well. So they know they can get away with it. Interesting you bring that up because California benefits to illegal immigrants are as follows. Driver's licenses, they're allowed to get those. In-state tuition is covered. Ability to practice law, some welfare benefits they get. And state will pay your legal fees if you get arrested. Tell us what happened to your son. Well, ironically, my son was in law school in San Francisco uh, back in 2010. He was coming home one night, and um, Roberto Gallo, an illegal alien from Honduras, uh, was driving in the opposite direction. He made a last-second left-hand turn trying to beat a traffic light. Um, they collided. Uh, my son was on a motorcycle, but they were going, both of them were going very slowly. It was rush hour, but instead of stopping, he accelerated, drove over my son's body, um, my son's helmet had come off and wedged under one of his tires. He backed up, driving over him a second time, and then trying to flee, went forward, and a guy had gotten out of his car, and Gallo stopped, and his rear tire was on my son's abdomen, and five guys had to lift the car off of him. It's a terrible story, and, and you, you just mentioned, Don, that your son Drew was in law school. Uh, Elizabeth Mateo, this woman who has been appointed to this uh, position, uh, wrote this about her law school experience. In law school, I often wondered if I was fit to be in law journal, moot court, because not many people with my same background did. I always went for it because I felt, even if I felt inadequate, I thought I could add something of value. I hope to do the same with at student aid commission, hashtag undocumented, unafraid. What's your reaction to that? Well, well I, I'd actually like to know how um how she was admitted to the bar since uh, the oath of office requires you to adhere to the laws of California and the laws of the United States. And although she wouldn't have been charged as a criminal when she was brought here at 14, um, a few years ago, uh, she was probably in her late 20s, she left the country, uh, went into Mexico, was part of a protest, and came back. Well, as so soon as she did that, she's now a criminal. She entered the country illegally, and so she's perjured herself when she took the oath of office, and she should be disbarred. I wonder if the Supreme Court's going to take up what's going on out in California regarding sanctuary status for an entire state flaunting the federal law. Well, it'll, it'll eventually get there. Um, the local courts um, will, you know, try to toss the charges. Sure. It'll go to the Ninth Circuit. You know, you can forget that one. So, you know, it'll end up at the Supreme Court at some point in time. It is interesting that she is an attorney, yet she has broken the law. Thank you so much, Don, for being with us. I'm sorry for your loss. Just a tragic uh, story. Thanks, Ainsley. You're welcome. Thank you, Steve. Thank you.